for tuning in to yet another video. We are here today. We're going to be looking at the step up settlement seat. As you can see, there she is. This is the tuck and roll on the front TR and a diamond stitch on the rear. She looks good on the bike. It has that nice look from the tank down to the rear fender. I like the way it looks. And I definitely like the way she feels. So, this step up seat, it holds you very firmly in place, especially uh, with all the torque the M8 produces. You need it. Because, let me tell you right now, from the stock lowrider single single seat, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't hold you in place. You well for me. I, I I tended to kind of slide back. I tended to slide back on the seat a lot, and I've always liked the look of this uh of this seat. So, and I'm just just want to kind of give my my opinion, my two cents about the uh, the step up seat, Salomon step up seat. It's a good, uh, it's a good upgrade. Uh, for what, four hundred and fifty dollars or five hundred dollars, depending on uh, which one you guys go ahead and purchase. It's definitely worth the four hundred and fifty dollars, in my opinion. It changes the look of the bike completely. She looks a lot better, honestly, with uh, with just that line from the. From the from the tank to the rear of the fender, that that straight a straight up shot. She looks really nice, and it's really good for your lower back too. I, you know, I'm uh, I'm kind of known with uh, with some lower back issues. I tend to get back spasms, and and I also I don't know, just I have my back stiffens up like crazy just walking for a really long time. So I've always kind of had back issues and having this the lower back the step up where it kind of holds your, your 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 butt in place it feels really good and and as I mentioned earlier it holds you in place firmly you don't you don't slide back when you rev the engine it, you're, you're in place you don't go anywhere so it's uh, there's there's a lot of benefits to switching over to a step up seat uh, I'm not sure how how it how it feels for for a passenger. I know they also sell they also sell um, step up seats with gel on the passenger seat. So you know if, if that's something that you need, I, I believe you might have to get that with uh, with Saddlemen themselves. I'm not too sure how how to go about uh, getting a uh, getting a gel coated on the rear on the passenger side of the, of the step up seat, but if you're out there looking and you're thinking about purchasing a step up seat, I highly recommend it. Not only for the looks, not only for the looks, but also for the uh, for, for the functionality and how it holds you in place and how it feels. And as I mentioned, you know, she looks great on the bike, the the seat there. And there's also quite a few other ones. There's La Pera. I believe that one looks really nice too. There's also a BMC, the Corpens. I believe they make their their seats out here in Santa Cruz, pretty close by. And I'm I'm pretty sure they all kind of feel the same. And and just having the uh, the seat alone, like like I mentioned, it, it changes the whole look of the bike completely. So if you're in the market, and you're wondering about the about the Saddleman step up seat. It's a it's a it's a recommended. It's a it's a strong recommendation by me, and she looks good, she feels good. So, I mean, what else can I say about it? You know, the leather on the on the on the uh, on the seat it looks great. It, it looks like uh, like real good quality. The stitching's really good too. Uh, I, you know, as you guys know, I, I keep my bike outdoors, so. Uh, I've, I think I've only leathered it or conditioned it once just you know just because I had it and I was cleaning it up and I was washing it so I was like you know what I'm, I might as well use this leather conditioner just to kind of see if it helps out or anything like that and um, 
looks pretty good. You know, it gave it a little bit of a gloss. And I'm guessing the gloss is just kind of like a ceiling, like a protectant. So, and what else is there to say about the seat? Here's a seat on the bike. As you can see, she looks pretty good. And you can actually get this customized to kind of different uh, colors of the seat. I've seen Speed Kings that have a few different colors and it, it looks pretty good. And you can see that line that I was talking about too. It starts from the tank and then it shoots up. I kind of like, I've always liked that style, that kind of line. And then it kind of just flows back into the seat. So this is the stitching right here. This is the diamond and this is the tuck and roll. I've always liked uh, the way this seat, this, uh, seat looks. Um, the stitching is really high quality. Haven't had any issues with the uh, with the seat at all. I've had it for a thousand miles now, and the braking in. I'm not. Sure, I don't think it's broken in completely still. So, and as I mentioned earlier too, there's no. Uh, it doesn't move you up or it doesn't uh, move you around too much from the stock seat. So, if you're wondering about that, you know, if you're five six, five five, and you're wondering, are you still going to be able to reach the the ground? Yes, you are. So, it, you know. See, it's super comfortable. It holds you in place. This uh, step up uh, form right here, this holds you in place, especially for uh, the Milwaukee M8 that, that you see right here. This engine's uh, super torque. I mean, super torquey. It has a lot of torque. So, when I was on the stock seat, the other one, the, the single rider one, I'd always, I would always kind of get shot back and I would always have to scoop my butt up every time whenever I would really get on the uh, the, the gas so it's a super easy installation All, uh, if you guys could see my video I think the only difficult part would be moving the uh, this uh, bolt holder here from up here to moving it back there that's pretty much the only difficult aspect of the, of the installation so you know she's a good looking seat I mean look at her uh, from every angle it looks good and it fits perfectly on the form you know everything's kind of aligned here it's top-notch quality stuff for sure and they even give you kind of like a little bib over here too for the seat just you know just so you don't have to scratch your tank I mean your your rear uh, your rear fender so if you're in the market for a seat you can't go wrong with this one for sure and very happy with it I ain't gonna be swapping it out I believe there's another company too that uh, that sells kind of this type type of style uh, I can't remember off the top of my head but I'll probably leave it on the comments or leave it on the video and uh, yeah there she is thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe you guys have any questions and if you're looking at purchasing the seat they have uh, three different styles let me tell you right now real quick before I log off you have the, the double diamond stitch on the front and the back they have a plain one on the back and they have a plain one on the front and this is basically both of the styles on this seat you have the tuck and roll TR and the diamond on the back pattern you can get the seat with the diamond on the front and the rear or you can get the seat with just the diamond on the front and you can just get this one the, the tuck and roll on the front and just plain on the back so if you guys are looking for limited edition ones uh, you, you could find them you just have to find uh, like speed kings and I believe get lower sometimes they have a couple so and uh, sometimes they have a little design over here speed kings and little so it's just just little details little stitching here you know that really makes a difference so thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe once again later